this is your president and it's it's been a long and tough day but we're doing very well as you know we're doing very strongly in the electoral college and by the way uh the sexual assault allegations against me from electoral college are totally false uh right now my wife the third first lady maleficent is getting ready for bed she's getting extra clean because we have a little bet that I won, and I said, darling, what if I get to day number two? What if Sleepy Joe can't beat me in day number one of the election? And she said, what do you want? And I said to her, if I make it to number two, I get to do you in the number two. And she said, okay, sir. She said, sir. She agreed to back door, and she said, sir, when she did it. So we're very excited about that. And more importantly, we're doing great with the Senate. It's called the Senate. Uh, Lindsey Graham beat the black. So we're excited about that. Lindsey is, you know, our vice president, Mike Pence, thought he was going to be, you know, the top of the heap. Well, you know, the bottom of the heap. And it turns out he's got competition for a powerful bottom in our administration's inner circle. So we're excited about that. Tommy Tuberville, uh, the financial criminal and stupid coach, beat Doug Jones in Alabama, which is a great lesson. It's a great lesson because Doug Jones was famous as a prosecutor for putting away the guy who bombed the church that killed little girls, little black girls in Alabama. And that's totally just, why would you do that? if you could coach football. And the last thing is Arizona, you're dead to me. You're as dead as your failed non-hero former senator. You betrayed your president and you're a disgrace. But other than that, Trump, Bayer and I are very excited about day number two. So good night and we'll see what happens.